Let's see if I remember how to do this. That should be good. All right, a little Velcro action. All right, so we are back at Powder Ridge. And uh, well, there's a few reasons. It is literally raining everywhere in New England right now. So this is the only place this weekend that is dry. They have a uh, downhill race on the course I was doing the uh, suspension testing. So a lot of people don't know, especially if you've joined the channel recently, but I used to race downhill professionally. That was my thing. 2015, I had a fantastic year. I qualified for a World Cup, finished or uh, qualified 23rd. And like, you know, I was on a pretty heater of a season, but once I qualified for that, that was like my big goal for the, basically my career. And my kind of passion for racing kind of dwindled off. For me, this is a fun way to get back into it. And it's also like a high school reunion because I'm like seeing a lot of friends who I used to race against who are still racing. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. What's up? If uh, you do the uh, like the race course, um, yep. do you mind if we follow you? I'm just gonna kind of like cruise down yeah, it. Okay. Probably have some pretty whack line choices right now. That's all right. Yeah, probably still gonna be better than a lot of ours. <laughs> just gonna cruise down and. Can't believe this section's gone beat up. Is that Dylan Conti right there? What's up, dude? How you doing, man? Racing some Dude, it's the only place that's dry. <laughs> I was like, if I if I want to ride someplace, the only place I can go is south. I've never ridden here, so this is all new to me. Hey, Haley. Hey, that right hander is going to be key. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's so awkward. I know, I can't get through it with, with the speed I'd like to have. <laughs> Alright man, good luck. Oh. That bridge back there is so sketchy. The loose gravel at the bottom of that turn? What turn? I through there and I was like, oh great, I'm, I'm literally turning and breaking on this giant rock. Alright. What decided to loosen up on me that's creaking now? Maybe headset. Let's do a little headset check. So I think something to do with my headset. Might have to grease that later. Well, yeah, but not like... Thank you. All right, there's definitely a... Spring arm is that he made 27.5. Yeah, that's what you need so fast. Two options, either slam this main line, hook up over there, or try to... Jump up inside here. I feel like that outside line is gonna go away soon. So not a whole lot of support on this rock. Yo, is that still good, Phil? Hey, what's up, man? Oh, what's up? <laughs> that was interesting. You yeah, I'm just scoping some lines right now. I am. That guy's so fast. Have fun, guys. All right, this is the inside line back there. Super inside doesn't work, but you never know until you try. Cool thing with downhill practice is you get a chance to like try a bunch of things, then watch other people, other people come through and let them experiment for you. Just 
invisible. I don't like all this gravel. It's all loose. Ah, great music. Gonna have some copyright strikes. Not to talk a lot. It's inside line. Not there yet, but that. Ah, oh, I messed it up. <laughs> I hate when there's music playing. It makes making editing videos so hard. I'm curious about going around. I don't know. I think so. But never know the G-Shark. You just need your bike up against the fence. Cool. Stay. Don't move. There we go. <laughs> anyway. When's the last time you did a downhill race? Like an official Eastern State Cup? Yeah, just like a like our actual downhill race. Collegiate Nationals <laughs> Collegiate. 2016. <laughs> <laughs> and I was wearing a chest protector, a back protector, and now I'm wearing a t-shirt and enduro knee pads. I'll be honest, I kind of want a chest protector <laughs> on this course. You didn't mess around with my bike, did you? No. <laughs> Thanks, man. All right, we'll give Haley a hot second here. Definitely that. Eh, maybe crack. Left crank is totally mangled. Oh no! <laughs> That's the one thing we didn't break. I thought, I like looked up and I was like, oh f Cause you were like hauling into that turn. I was like, I am, I am going to catch Phil. <laughs> <laughs> and then you just like held your line. Foot feels so funky on this pedal right now. It's like tilted the wrong way. It's also rubbing my frame, which is not ideal. <laughs> This section in the race is going to be critical because I have a long, kind of slow section for a bit. Yeah, here. Downhill is all about good line choices. You don't happen to have uh, spare parts. I do. Spare cranks? Yeah, bro. I got a whole spare bike. These two fine people were the first people I ever met in downhill racing. Literally the first race I ever went to. We happened to park next to them and they essentially adopted me as my travel parents. I'm uh, keeping up in the spirits of continuing to break stuff and going to them to help solve them. <laughs> Too long. All right, so I'm at my buddy Luke's house. Um, I bent the crap out of this crank, so in order for this thing to run again, I need to replace the cranks, because, um, yeah, got a little bit of rubbing action going on, because the cranks are literally bent into my seat stay, or uh, chain stay. We are gonna borrow the cranks off this bike. All right, today is race day. We have about two hours of practice. Well, it's uh, 9.30 and it finishes at 11. So should be able to get in a few runs. One of the things I always struggled with is like, you get so nervous on race days and even for like, just trying to do it for fun. 
Like there's something <laughs> that just happens when you're racing that just makes you nervous. You have like this like gut feeling in your stomach that's like, I don't know. I never like it because it kind of like puts me at ease and I'm kind of riding defensively instead of attacking the trail. And like once you cross the finish line <laughs> for your race run, all of those feelings just go away. I, I very much like the feeling of being done with a race more than I like the feeling of actual <laughs> racing. So it's always really interesting doing these races because like your body's not woken up by the time you're on the trail. Yeah, I didn't even have time to have my coffee. I know. <laughs> I was like trying to drink it and get dressed at the same time. I'm like, you can stay here, I guess. There's no line at the bottom because the line is all up here. <laughs> There's no line at the bottom. I know. <laughs> Everybody's up here. No, go ahead, Hale. I'll try to pass you in the sketches section. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Nice. Get off the gate. Yesterday my headset needed a lot of greasing so it was super creaky. <laughs> okay, that turn has gone way greasier. I think this turn is critical to carry speed throughout this next section. Yeah, Haley. Might just be better to slow down and cut inside, but. It's a freaking traffic jam out here. Sketchy. Honestly, the hardest thing about practice on race day is the course just gets so crowded that just dodging other riders. Like the rock drop? Yeah. What's up, man? It's busy out there. Oh, yeah. How's it going, guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you guys too. I am. All right, I got until like four o'clock before I race, so we're gonna go up and do a few fun runs just to uh, kill some time. The other key for the guys at the top, if you don't want them to jump, you sit on the lift until they get your bike off. So it stays still and then you jump off. Thanks man, appreciate it. That was a good life hack right there. Right, right. <laughs> oh, too. oh my God. Party lap. All right. Are we all ready? <laughs> I'll just be talking back here. Don't mind me. <laughs> So Luke is like probably one of my longest friends in mountain biking because I met him at the very first downhill race I ever went to. They were parked right next to each other and I was much younger than them. But they, they kind of took me on as like a foster parent in many ways. And then they like kind of fell out of the mountain bike scene. So it's kind of cool to just catch back up 
because they've just gone back into racing now that their kids are older, their kids are riding. Woohoo! But we used to race all the time and just do laps of bike parks. But I think that's the thing that I love about mountain biking is a lot of the people you meet through riding, you'll run into them again. Oh, Woo. that flat, that sounded awfully like a rim dinker. The thing about doing fun runs on race days, so you never want to do one too close to a race run where you don't have enough time to repair any damage to your bike. That happens a lot. It's like you do one more run before your race run and you blow up your tire or something stupid happens. All right, let's see if I can do this with a... All right, we're going over here. Riley, are you following your dad or? Uh, you, you All right. Looks like a drop, but it's more of a roller. Just don't go to a tree, Phil. Oops. Ooh. I think I'm losing tire pressure in my tire. I think my front tire is losing a little bit of air. Here, would you like to check it with a digital gauge? What? Who carries a digital tire gauge in their pocket? It was going flat at the beginning of my race run. <laughs> so I had to let it down to whatever. Oh, well, we can confirm whether or not I'm losing air. 14 PSI. I think I've lost some air pressure. All right, gotta do a little last minute tire repair. Luckily they uh, put this handy dandy Cushcore tire changer right here yeah it's not holding stands Whee! <laughs> there she blows <laughs> three o'clock pushing it Alright, so we've got Kush Core on, we've got the tire back on, now the moment of truth. Can we get it inflated? <laughs> Help me! Alright, it's not finished until it's on the bike. Something inevitably goes wrong, like you cross thread the stupid axle or something. Or you put your tire on backwards. <laughs> It's not a race weekend without last minute mechanicals. All right, so we got the tire on and are headed up for the race run. I added a little extra pressure to my tire since uh, the stance hasn't kicked in yet. So I'm probably gonna lose a little bit of tire pressure and then Luke lent me his tire pressure gauge. So once I get to the start ramp, I'll let some air out. But I like watching that section. I, I feel like I get nervous watching people and it like messes with me. You're, yeah, I know. Your line through there was like spot on where you, I saw a couple, like one other person do it, like just huck the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And there is so many different lines to there. Like it's crazy. And like, I'm like, I saw, I'm like, you know, I'm thinking ahead. I'm like, holy shit, I'm like, holy shit, I'll just jump that whole thing. I'm like. We made it. We made it. Hi. Hi. How you feeling? Um, yeah, my bike, my bike's all set. I just overinflated my front tire for a little bit. Yeah. Cool. Haley's in the gate right now. Get it, Haley. I saw you were on the, on the start list, but I hadn't seen you all weekend. <laughs> well. One of the practice runs, you like were right in front of me, turned around, walked right back up the hill. I'm like, no, oh, I'm probably in a different kit. Yeah, <clears throat> All right, here we go. Oop. 
should say, easy does it, but... Nice work, Phil. Prison, I'm tired too. Oh, rest up like two sections. Congratulations. You too, good job. Thank you. Real bike, Ripper. You, you were uh, shaking your head when you came down. What happened? Well, just the last corner. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, the rest of it was all right. Have you guys hit Gentle Giants yet? Is that the jump line? Yeah, let's go hit it. I'm down to do that. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Act like you're uh, it, it's like dirt merchant size. What? Yeah. Oh. Like, the, 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 he's like, ah, get me off this thing. What size? <laughs> he's gonna jump off Fort, the bucket. Did you say Fort Hill? No, it's like dirt merchant. Like Fort Hill. Then, actually, no, I'd compare them to the stuff on Power Hour. All right. That's pretty big stuff. That's pretty big. Can you see the landings on most of them? Or are they blind? They're pretty, like, they're not super blind. Like, uh, it, like it didn't make me feel uncomfortable. Because, like, Power Hour is actually pretty blind. Yeah, I, I don't like Power Hour. Yeah, me either. You have ridden this before, right? I, I have. <laughs> the, the software I'm about to show you, I've ridden before. All when right. we get to the rope and we drop that rope, I have not done that stuff. <laughs> All right. Good to go? Do this. Right, you're on the rope. I went to Siri those last but I couldn't bring myself to do it. Oh, What'd you guys think? Pretty fun. The, the, like dirt merchant? Yeah, yeah those, those are, are good. Dirt merchant. Like maybe a little bit like peakier. Yeah, there's definitely some weirdness, but I kind of like it. It's got character. Yeah, exactly. It's way more fun. Yeah, yeah. So, we got. We got permission to hit these. Look, peaky. This thing looks poppy. Yeah. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah, uh, Dirt Sculpt Dave. Well, it's not that bad, actually. He's uh, done stuff for the X Games. Really? No yeah. They ride like that kind of dirt jumping. So, like, do you think that you can make that gap? I'm willing to case it. How are you feeling about this? They, they don't, like, scare me like Fort Hill. Really? On Fort Hill, like they're ominous, but this just the unknownness of somebody's fresh build scares me. Oh yeah, man. You want to pop a No, for sure. What's your name? Ben. I'm ben. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Cheers, man. <laughs>
Well, this I've is Phil. Yeah, I've, I've, <laughs> I've obviously seen you before. He's my friend. I brought him along. He's new. <laughs> it's my uh, first time on a bike. <laughs> blind leading the blind here. Well, not a ton. Are, are you following me or? I'm gonna follow you, but I'm gonna give you enough space where when you case it, you can bail. Short, I don't land on you. I land next to you. All right. Yeah, buddy. Smooth sailing. That is so good. You made it. So, so the first the first one was a little bit shorter than I was expecting. I saw that. I'm really glad it was you. Tell me what to do. <laughs> yeah, you put her on the like, Yeah, you did go high. You jumped out of the shot. <laughs> Oh, I did get a good shot. Touch your head off a little bit. Oh, Dylan, that was sick. Was it cool? It didn't feel oh, that good. I think oh, it was better. Are you going for it again? Oh, God, yeah. How am I doing again? Yeah, we can do better than that. that. Hey, 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 go vertical. Vertical? Vertical. Oh. oh. I was trying. I was trying to do landscape. I I yeah, I always thought. Like, no, no like, like, yeah. With the, if you're putting it on YouTube, you want to go landscape. But if you're putting it on social media, you go vertical. It takes up more screen real estate. He's the yeah, boss. Yeah. You gotta listen to the boss. I don't think I got consistent until 2011. I tell everyone that story. Like, <laughs> Phil Metz has a top ten split in the World Cup. <laughs> like, holy crap. Those are things my wet dreams are made of. I, I do have to give you a, a slight correction to that. I had a, it wasn't a top 10 split, it was a top 10 sector. That's a split to me. Okay. Oh, I see what you're saying. Oh, now you're discrediting <laughs> my 44th sector. I crashed at MSA, I got 44th, and that to me is like the I, head of my career. I mean, I, I still like, I still use it like I beat G Atherton in the sector. <laughs> For, have you ridden um, with G then? No, I've not. Uh, I mean, I've ridden in a giant train where he was somewhere in that train, oh, but he had no idea who I was. <laughs> All right, you guys want to hit this? Yeah. yeah. All right, drop it in. Yeah. All right, this time we'll go a little bit slower into this guy. Ah, that was better. So, Dirt Scope Dave, you and your crew get two thumbs up from me. This is fantastic work. This is so much fun. I'm glad more bike parks are building this kind of stuff. And we're closing the trail back off. Make sure this is a little bit more in the middle. There you go. Cool. Train it. Who knows it? Uh, I got you. I love it. <laughs> This one, it's very quick from the the turn. I think they might have to fiddle around with it. I think a lot of people are going to struggle with it. Yeah. See you guys. The Once you put a clock on me, I'm not able to race the same way. It's I like know. I hate to tell you this, but you got fourth today, my friend. Those jumps are so much fun. Awesome. Thank yeah. you for letting us do that, by the way. Yeah, no problem. So awesome. Uh, yeah, we'll let you know when it's done, man. Cool. All right. Well, <laughs> that's where we're gonna wrap up this video. So thanks for uh, staying on. If you haven't seen uh, some of my last videos, I'll leave a link to those in this area. And as always. My name is Phil Metz. Thanks for playing bikes with me today. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.